What's good with the tool with me, Trucker AB, with another video for y'all. As you see, I'm at a shipper. Let me turn. I've been at this shipper since 11.30 a.m. I dropped off my load this morning, those onions, whatever, at that whole, whole foods, right? And Patrick got me this load right here. And what's the name of this thing right here? The name of this place is called Lineage. Lineage or something like that. And this is one thing about reefer life, you know, everything is lives and all that. So, you know, in lives, sometimes you have some shippers that just take forever. First of all, this whole, this whole, it's frustrating. So that's why I'm gonna make a video about it. My dispatcher gave me this little, right after, um, right after, uh, you know, I had a whole day. I dropped it off early this morning, so. He ain't take, I'll probably have that shit for like four hours if that, right? I got this load to pick up at 11.30. So 11.30 I get here, come to find out the broker told, the broker, broker told us it was 11.30, but the load was supposed to be picked up at 10.30, right? I didn't have the time to do that. They told me 11.30, I got here exactly at 11.30, right? They said it was late. <laughs> so the broker, the broker contact my did whatever they did. So we had to pay like we had to pay a little fee or something like that, right? And I'm here waiting. Now it is going on three something. I ain't even getting the door yet. This Peter boat right here. This was at the other shipper. This Peter boat, this Peter boat was at the other shipper that I was at. As a matter of fact, he was right next to me. He's in his truck chilling. Cook. Curtains, clothes, and I see no activity going on here. And this load is supposed to be delivered tonight at 11:45. This is a short run, only four hours away. I was like, yeah, let me get this quick, real quick. They they pay 1,400 for the load. I got train. That's like almost 400 dollars, like 380 something, three three something like that. It's quick. I'll do that real quick. You know what I'm saying? And I'm here stuck, bro. And I don't know what to do, cause now. I'm splitting my time, so I put myself in sleep or whatever, and I got adverse driving. I still got five hours on my clock, so I have time to get it, and I got adverse, adverse driving due to the ice and all that crap. You know, I'm going to get two hours back, so I have enough time. The point is, I'm sitting here waiting. I done took a nap. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to nap again. I just feel drowsy. I'm up right now, you know? They restroom is horrible. This shipper right here is hard. So anytime I know they say they're gonna send me here, I'm like, nah, I'm not, nah, I'm good. Cause even if you come on time, you're gonna wait. Everybody I see here been waiting. Like these trucks been here all matter of fact, that other black truck on the other side of the uh the Peter boat, he he would park next to me on the other side. I went I would park down the street. The point is that I'm like, I'm sitting here like, what the hell? This is this is this is the uh, if not the worst thing about lives. Like you don't know what's going on. You don't know if they're having a meeting. You don't know if they're changing shifts. You don't know. You don't know what's going on. All I know is that nothing no, nothing is moving. I don't want to see the yard dogs moving. So I don't know. We just sitting here stuck. But I said let me do a quick video. You know, not you know, not everything gonna be peaches and gravy. This is this book comes with trucking. Sometimes you just have to be patient, you know, and um um sometimes with lives, you know, especially the reefer life, you know, this this is just one of them things. I'm I'm about to hit my di um my dispatcher up and be like, um, I'm getting um detention pay, right? Yeah, I gotta get paid for self waiting here for this long. So But yeah. Y'all stay blessed, stay safe out here. It is cold. This morning was ridiculous. Like my windshield, like my um my washer fluid thing, they all were frozen. It warmed up a little bit, so now it works. It's clean, but at one point I couldn't home and see through my windshield. I was like, oh man, that's dangerous, bro. I really don't like it. My truck was horrible. It's really, really, really super dirty, super ashy. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, y'all be safe out here. At least the roads and everything's clear now. It's just cold. I'll holler at y'all.